Good morning. It's April 17th. Happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. It's a cool and breezy but very sunny morning and I've got a little bit of gardening to do before I head out to festivities with friends. Uh, I've been working on the wood chip pile and I think I'm about a halfway through it maybe. I've got a lot but it will compost eventually and that's was the point of it. Um, I made space for the hydrangea that I planted two years ago and the bee bomb patch which my mowers keep mowing. Hopefully there's not too much wind to hear this. That's been my biggest problem in the past recording video is that there was just so much wind that it was distracting to me and I'm sure it would have been to you. Um, one of the finds that I made during the excavation of this pile was this big piece of wood. Well, this, this green stalk will go on it. Uh, it has not much in it right now, a little bit of uh, garlic chives and some oregano, but that's all right now. This is a grow bag that I bought I think last year and just never have used, but now that I have made a platform out of wood chips, I feel more confident that I have about putting it here. Um, Store-bought potatoes that I th that were growing, we cut off some end pieces and stuck them in the kitchen window till they got till they scarred over. And now I'm putting them in the bed and I'll cover them with dirt. Um, there's about I have grown potatoes like this before, just by throwing potatoes into compost. You know, they'll grow out. So I mean, just pieces of potato. So. I know that this works and uh, that it should work great. I also have some potatoes that I bought to, to plant and I will be getting to those a little bit later. Okay, so that's about 15 more gallons of compost in this grow bag uh, on top of the potato chits. Um, and now we wait and see. I would like to say that experimental or based on something that someone else does. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and get my planting advice from other people who've done it before. Um, I honestly can't tell you which ones are the ones I planted new this year and which ones are old. I suspect that the old ones are the ones that are blooming right now and they're there's quite a few blossoms, so we should have strawberries shortly. Aren't they pretty? But again, I mean, a lot of these are just not doing anything. And I have been diligently watering here. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, I planted all of these bins with strawberries. And that's the same is true back there. Only. I'm pretty sure only the established ones are doing anything in particular. So, it is what it is. If I can find the clip that I made earlier, uh, the honeyberries bloomed, and my honeyberry is blooming. I, this is a first. Apparently they are related to honeysuckle, but they have blueberries that are bigger, I think than blueberries. I know you have to have two of different varieties for cross-pollination, and that's the second one over there. Um, I really thought that I killed them when I bought them because I did not plant them right away because I this is not where I wanted to put them, but I finally had to just to get them in the ground. Anyway, um, so this year will be the, my first experiment with honeyberries and I will certainly let you know what I think. The peas are growing fairly well. I came in and put in more seeds um, to fill in the gaps 
but nothing has come up yet. The spinach is doing okay. What little of that germinated. And there's something germinating here, and I have a sneaky suspicion that it's tomatoes because I had tomatoes in this, in this bed last year. And will again, the garlic is doing well. I'm happy with that. Radishes, beets, cabbage. Uh, not as much germination as I had hoped, but something. Um, this little lady, I put her in the, the new garden bed out back and the dog's got to hold her. That's going to be an issue, which makes me very sad. Uh, the tansy is overgrowing and I need it to not. So if anybody wants some, let me know. Uh, otherwise, in about a week, I'm probably going to start pulling out a lot of it. Uh, this bed has to be pulled out. That's the Brussels sprouts going to seed. I'm going to pull everything, chop and drop probably, um, and fill, it, fill the rest of the bed up with uh, compost because I've got it really need to try to fix that this end. I don't know if I can at this point because it'll mean shoveling dirt up and moving stuff over. I mean it's not hurting anything that it doesn't quite fit. Oh well. And uh, I so I got some white berries, pine berries, and I planted those in the top layer but I have a feeling they were I didn't take them out of the bag immediately when they arrived. I suspect they rotted, but we'll see. We'll see. And like I said, these strawberries over here are just, those are all transplants. And they're, you know, they're doing whatever they're doing. Clearly, I can water all the way to the bottom if I just do it often enough. Um, there's one last update. Back here, and I'll show you, um, according to Southern Exposure Seed Company, it was time to plant pole beans, which you probably, if you watched me last year, you know are one of my favorite things. So I planted a whole row here on this side um, this week. So they, I mean, clearly they haven't germinated. Just a quick look at my pole beans. Now I guess this means the compost is good quality because they are coming up. And there are three different kinds that I alternated and I will cover that in a later video. This one's getting too long. Take my wind chimes down because it made Sigrun too anxious and she wouldn't come outside and go potty. And that makes me sad. Um, here's my rose bush, which I think for sure has grown since I planted it. And all these are snapdragons that I rescued from another planter. They, uh, I took the covering off the base of the apple trees. I fertilized them and put down wood chips around the base. And I have apple blossoms. Aren't they pretty? The yard looks better. I got I finally gotten rid of all of the totes and planters. The dirt that's left will eventually break down as this did. This is lemon balm. It'll probably spread, but you know, it's the yard. I set up a fire pit, which we already had. I just needed to get it out. And I have filled it with debris and sticks. And Beltane is coming. It's a bonfire festival, so hopefully we will actually have a fire that night. Uh, I finally started pulling out the oregano. I've got most of it. There's only one clump left to pull. I have the cart full. I have the yard, clumps in the yard full. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I recently purchased these blocks. And I've got red 
pots on the front too. I need to get two more pots for the back. And I have painted my um, tea posts red, and they're going to go up in over the middle section. I've got to move this tarragon. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it. I got to figure out where I'm going to do my herb garden. Maybe that's what that will be. I don't know why the chair is in there. Tierney did that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you an update. The asparagus. I some of the asparagus went already to fern because there just wasn't enough to pick to make a meal um, and that's kind of a bummer but um, I'm planning to eat asparagus today so I've already cut what I wanted there's some that's probably big enough to cut if I can increase the size yeah you can see that but I want to give it a little bit more time. Let's see, there's about five, six spears. That's that's enough. I, I like asparagus. I like to eat a lot of it. So after I get all of the oregano out, that's the last task over here before I start hauling compost to refill the beds. Um, and I've got to figure out a way to keep the neighbor's cats from using my beds as a toilet. If you got any suggestions, leave them in the comments. And that is a baby fig. So excited. Figs already. Uh, not focusing very well, but definitely figs. Well. We did it. We've pulled out all the weeds, the herbs, except for the thyme. I'm going to leave it. Um, of course, we didn't pull out the asparagus, but I did cut more of it. Uh, and I'm ready to plant. It is Beltane Eve. And I guess tomorrow I'm planting tomatoes on my new trellis. I think that it looks really nice. Um, very happy with how this has turned out and it's taken some work and some time and we're gonna keep going um, this is still the the top of the bed that was over there because like I said that just, it just didn't work we tried it for five years six years and the, the dirt's washed out into the bottom um, and it was just not convenient for harvesting. Uh, I've got some more red growing units. Uh, I've got bean towers that are red and I've got a cucumber trellis that's red and so all of that's coming here. Um, I ended up putting the tarragon in this bed with the artichoke just because I needed it to go somewhere. It's, it's a bit on the shocked side, but it's, you know, doing better than I expected. I don't think it's going to die. We've been keeping it well watered. And then I just have to figure out what to do with the rest of this bed and then that bed and all that stuff. But yeah, it's May. I know we could still get a frost, but hopefully we won't, and I'll be able to move forward with getting everything out. This should be the last piece of the video, and I'm gonna spend this evening putting it together. So if you liked what I did and what you saw, please hit the like icon Subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment, and thanks for watching.